Welcome back to some professional StarCraft. Let me introduce in the bottom right, with the drones, the best Zerg player in the history of the game. It's Jadon. Now challenging him with a dream that he can take this match, but most might more realistically say it, it's just fantasy. In the top right, with the Terran SCVs. No, this is not a match from 20 years ago, transcribed via someone's phone from a VHS tape. No, it's from less than a month, a $50,000. StarCraft Legends Finals at the Gamers 8 Invitational. Yes, Brood War still being played and enjoyed today. And honestly, Brood War for me is what I think StarCraft 2 is for a lot of people who well, I usually watch this channel. Um, oh, by the way, like, subscribe, and, and Jimmy, what are we at? Yeah, Brood War, 1998. Yeah, I know. I, <clears throat> uh, 1,114 likes. I'll cast another series. And uh, maybe a, a few more than that, and, and we'll make it Brood War. Because Brood War for me is uh, much like StarCraft II for a lot of people. It's that game that is feels like it's more stressful than your day job just to even contemplate playing, let alone playing itself. Feels like you'll break your wrist just looking at some of the games, but... Um, that for Brood, Brood War is that for me. I, I can appreciate the immense amount of APM and skill that goes into the game. And at the same time, uh, after getting cyber bullied by Koreans on the ladder for a few dozen hours, appreciate those that enjoy it uh, and play it and say, you know what? Maybe it's a bit of a spectator sport for me, but what are we spectating here? Is this one of the oldest strat- well, I mean, the original. Oh my god, he's bunker rushing. It's a bunker rush. Okay. Um, yep. He's just- he's just building a bunker. Jadong's already pulled the drones off the line. I- I, I guess this is- and- and for those wondering, like, huh, is this what it- no. Alright, there's the appropriate amount of pixels. But the drone's trying to get the surround early. Get one- oh, he gets one into the bunker! Just in time, finishing up the SCVs with more HP than you're used to seeing in StarCraft 2. And please, oh, the drone's already off the line. Please forgive me if I don't know all the details here, as uh, we're used to seeing a much less raw version of this sort of cheese in StarCraft 2. The drones, Predator drones out here, only one more Marine. They don't have nearly the micro ability of your StarCraft 2 Marines. They're a bit of a clunky creature. We got some repair going on here. And the bunker taking a lot of damage. The Zerglings try to target some of the SCVs. Uh, three, two Marines inside, but the bunker is taken down. The Zerglings will clean it up. And I think overall that Jadong has handled this fantasy. Well, I don't know how much longer he's got in the game. That two SCVs this early on. Remember, you only start with four. So that is not a particularly overwhelming number. And Jadong already got his expansion up. Not nearly as important for Zerg to... Well, Zerg needs to mass expand, but in a bit of a different manner in Brood War. Uh, usually choosing to use a Nidus to get between bases with lurkers and such. But we're still a long way off of that. Oh my god, you can zoom out so much. So how do we follow this up? As Jadong just kind of comfortably is mining a lot of gas. Does he have a lair speed on the way? Nothing yet. Um, we do have a production tab, which was added with StarCraft Remastered. But another command center. Well, not quite a wall here. We got the little lurker eggs to, to help things create more of a choke point. Walls, supply depots cannot lower into the ground. That advanced technology was not invented for years after the Brood War. But an expansion on the way for fantasy. Uh, it appears Jadong not interested in, in trying to end the game outright, but instead taking map control away. Those Zerglings are easily able to track down and kill the final SCV. Overlord taking its sweet time. Overlord's detectors for things like spider mines. Um, what else needs detection? I guess ghosts can cloak wraiths in this matchup. All right. That's most of the list. And behind this, a second barracks. So, a bio follow-up. Not not in your usual sense. Marines, medics, maybe some fire bats. We got Stimpak on the way. 
Is the academy is done. I can't even I can't even see it on the screen. It's in the back right corner there. Hidden from us and almost everything else. Let's see what other panels we got. All right. Yes. All right. So stim pack on the way. Forgive me for my lack of knowledge about the observing interface. Um, creep colonies morphing into sunkins. The uh, way cooler, way more hardcore version of the spine crawler. Creep colonies the only way to really spread out the creep and brood war, to my understanding. Um, queens, uh, not not really their purpose here, as they still are fully capable of flight. And have a lot, uh, essentially filling the role of the infester in in StarCraft 2. Oh, there's a fire bat. The stim trying to chase down some of these Zerglings. A couple medics hatching things up. And so far, Jadong just taking a third hatch rate as base. Scan spots a lair, and there's a spire. It's going to be Muta's. Muta's on the way. In order, well, it is incredibly scary in Brood War. Since units have such a tough time with even getting to be in the same place at the same time, Mutilus with an Overlord control. I don't understand the technology, and I'm not sure anyone did at the time, but for some reason, if you hotkey in or, or select an Overlord alongside your Mutilisks, the Mutas can, can stack better and makes it easier to pick off Marines, SCVs, essentially just keep those meters under control. And on top of the fact you can only select 12 units at a time. That's six supply of Zerglings. So the APM requirements are, um... Yeah, he's just gonna... Ooh, thinking about fighting, but one muta gets picked off immediately. Now looking for more. Working around the edge. Taking out one Marine so far. JD not intimidated by the Marines here at all. Do they have their range? I'm not sure they have their range upgrade done, but he's just going to go around and try to pick off some of the reinforcements, but plenty of Marines in the main. One missile turret trying to deal with this. Zerglings overrunning the Marines. Easily their match. And now the Mutas. Looks like Fantasy just going to head to the other side of the map. A counterattack is on the agenda. As he realizes running back and forth is getting nowhere fast against the Mutas. Two more sunken morphing. Mutating is the technical term. A second one done. Is that enough to intimidate him? Three sunkins. Well, he's still hanging out outside the base. JD has expanded to the bottom left as well. Classic Zerg Expo. Just trying to take the, a bingo strategy at best. Another sunken on the way. Only a couple Zerglings. Targeting down one. The medics are doing their best. Well, Sunken's doing a ton of damage. Muta's heading back, and the rest of the army is just going to collapse and absolutely massacre these Marines. JD trying to send those Mutas back so they can't get targeted down easily. Doing a good job so far. Loses one more Muta. And you can hear the medics dying dramatically as well. Saves them for last. Do we have tech now? Siege tank. More tanks in production. Does he have siege mode research? I believe so, yet. A Valkyrie out of the starport with the control tower slapped on as well. Jadong now has that third hatchery in the bottom left. What do we have? A queen's nest. Giving access to hive and also queens themselves. But we'll see how quickly he can get there. How many mutas on the field? Jimmy... Jimmy, I don't... Slow it down. Jimmy, hide. And and this technical break... Oh, the D key. Who would have thought? D for slow down. That's a very brood war. From the people who brought you P for probe. <laughs> In Remastered, you can customize your hotkeys, but I think most of these players, after however many years... After decades, choose not to. Valkyrie getting some splash damage onto the Muta, softening most of them up. They don't have the healing that they invented in StarCraft II with Abathur's help here. So those Mutas are going to take a quite a while to get back to fighting shape. 
Not that mutas are well known for uh, being aggressive fighting units anyways, but oh, the Marines get another one. We have more Valkyries in production. Zerglings trying to cut off the reinforcements. SCV headed out. Looking to scout, but siege tanks now. Is siege mode done? We're about to find out. There it is. Scan, I think, spotted the Sunkins, but Sunkins aren't going to be enough. Are there any lurkers? There are lurkers in production. Where is the Hydra den even? Oh, back here. Uh, also morphed to a, uh, actually, technically, a lurker den. But, still, with two siege tanks, they're going to be able to outrange. If he has enough energy for those scans from the comm sets, lurkers are popping out. Scourge! Scourge to knock out the Valkyries before they can do that splash damage. Mutas have plus one attack. Marines as well. Lurkers underneath. How much energy on the comm sets? We're looking at two scans. Four scans. Really? Four scans? And no mules to drop, so... Unfortunate. Mutas cutting off reinforcements for JD so far. He's, he's intimidated, I think, a little by the army. There's enough marines here. And with the Valkyries adding a bit of extra damage, well, the Zerglings actually wandering out forward. Just making sure everything's going the right way. The scan, the lurkers weren't quite burrowed. Microing against it. Is there another scan in time? Tanks unseed, so that way they don't do too much friendly fire against the Zerglings. Another lurker trying to target it down. Lurker flanked, though, ripping through the siege tanks and the Marines. And it looks like Jadong is going to be able to clean up yet another Terran army. Lurkers chasing it down. Oh my, the tank? Actually quite... I, I'm about to say it, don't judge me. Tanky. As the Zerglings not quite able to get a grip on it there. Is Hive done? Hive is nearly finished mutating. I think Fantasy has realized that that base in the bottom left is indeed online. Nidus? Do we have Nidus? Defiler Mound on the way. Do not see a Nidus at the moment. The Nidus is usually used for transferring between bases a lot less aggressively, as it, I, I believe, it requires creep like most other Zerg units here in Brood War. And remember, high ground, there's a 50% chance to miss. So a significant, uh, a significantly more difficult. Oh no! <laughs> Dropship full of Marines taken out! By the Scourge, patrolling at the natural. Fantasy still maintains an 83 supply lead. Uh, not 83 supply lead. He has 83 supply to Jadong 67, though. Very different than StarCraft 2 and what you'd expect there. Consume on the way for the Defilers, but this means that he should have enough army to throw around the map right now. The Marines kind of jamming themselves behind. The Lurkers chasing things down. These tanks are going to be taken out. I'm trying to... The mini-map itself is blocking a lot of the screen here. So we got to take that away for a moment. The lurkers eviscerating the medics. So visceral. I do love... Honestly, if there's one thing I could get from Brood 1 StarCraft 2 that would not affect balance or anything like that, just the sound. I would pay an inordinate amount of money for a Brood War sound pack. And I didn't play Brood War before I played StarCraft 2. And I, one might argue I never played Brood War. Um, but, I mean, you know. That's Brood War players in a nutshell. Jimmy, quickly, I have a meme for this. I know now is not the time for memes. But the Lurkers are going to hold, especially with Consume and Dark Swarm available. It's very likely that uh, Jadong is, is not going to have any trouble holding against the next push. At least until science vessels are on the line. Oh, Dark Swarm right on top of everything reduces things to melee range. The only thing that can really get damage done are siege tanks splash. Otherwise, you know, the lurkers are essentially invulnerable. I believe it reduces all range damage. Um, that is, that isn't splash damage, something like that. Either way, it's a, effectively an invulnerability cloud against everything but siege tanks. And even them uh, have trouble doing the damage. Of course, the defilers must be protected. We do have supply depots. Multiple science vessels. Does he have double starport science vessel? The Nidus Canal. Now in the bottom left corner. 
Five racks production. One, two, three. No, no, no. I can't count. Six racks production. As well as science vessels for detection. And I have to imagine a radiate. I believe he just finished it up. So as those science vessels pop out, still trying to maintain some control on the map. Defiler has enough energy for another Dark Swarm. I don't know how much it is. I know. Oh, yeah, plague on ah! The plague on everything. Bringing their HP to one. Now, it won't kill anything. It'll just make them wish they were dead. <sighs> I'm not sure how long it lasts. Eventually, the medics can heal. The science vessel going to have a tough time, though. Uh, nothing to repair it here. Fantasy still holding a strong position. And no, I thought there were siege tanks here. No. No strong position there. The Scourge shot down before they connect with the new science vessels. Lurkers, though, Dark Swarm. Invalidating the efforts of the siege tank. There's no other army. He's gonna be able to just slash his way in for the Lurkers, but a massive drop into the main. He picked up and heads for the main. The medics and marines for the Dark Swarm. And there will be no getting out. Those dropships don't heal, and the medics are having a tough time of it as the Dark Swarms coat JD's main. But at the natural, irradiate. He's erasing. He's doing the irradiate eraser. There's got to be a better way to say that. Where he cast irradiate on his own science vessel and just waved it over everything underneath. It does damage over time uh, to everything it gets, well, either above or next to. But... The Scourge are able to take it out. More Plague. Still holding the low ground. Jadong mostly, well, these Marines have yet to be cleaned up. The Marine upgrades, he has plus two, plus one right now. More upgrades being added on. We got infantry armor and weapons. It's gonna be three, two, straight up Marine medic science vessel. And, oh my God, they're still, is this over yet? No, the medics, wait, okay. They're out of energy, so they can't, I'm not sure if medics can outheal a lurker, but they certainly can't do it if both of them are getting hit simultaneously. But Fantasy keeping a lot of control of this game, despite how strong Jadong's armies have looked. He's just maintained this level of production that Jadong has not been able to compete with. He's done some good attacks, but, well, here we go. Lurker and Scourge. Plague on... Wait, no, that's just the fire bats. They just look like that. All right, they're just red. Maybe this will help. No, 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 that's not. I don't. He's gonna head towards that bottom left corner. In StarCraft 2, the base will be nearly mined out by now. In StarCraft 1, we still got hundreds of minerals to go. The main bases are starting to mine out, but you can go a lot longer on longer on one or two bases than in uh, the the sequel. Irradiate, burning through, trying to get as much energy as he can before just melting in a radioactive haze. Another dark swarm. <gasps> Is there? Did he irradiate the lurkers underneath? It looks very likely. Dark swarm to try to protect the main. Another drop onto the top left. The Defilers standing by. They don't have energy. They could consume, but right now Fantasy is tearing through everything. And the Nidus itself, no reinforcements. Take it out. And Fantasy, looking like he's in control. A de defensive Matrix on fire baths here. Would you like to hear about propane or propane accessories? Consuming underneath. I assume he was consuming some of the Zerglings. I'm not sure. Maybe even drones at this stage. Yeah, there's some Zerglings under there. Is he remorphing the Nidus? I'm not sure how Jadong is expecting to save this base, because once... Whoa. The fire bats actually... <gasps> Does fire bat splash go through the dark? Oh, that's so sick. There's some lurkers being spotted here. So many science vessels. The science facility itself is all the way. Scourge, though, chased them down. There's no marines underneath. Loses one. Loses another. Two science vessels taken out. But erasers washing over Jadong's expansion. A plague on most of the army. He does have to finish those units off with the Zerglings. Is our adrenal glands completed? Well, for now, the, the medics are trying to heal through the plague. Another drop into the main. These drops are incredible. He's acting like he has medivacs right now. He has medic dropships. 
which it's a little more effort, but Hydra is not nearly as strong as their sequel counterparts. Lurker is trying to cut off the rest. Somehow Jadon, well, somehow with Lurkers, it's just like, well, only medics survive that exchange, healing each other. Irradiate. Dark Swarm at the front, all over Fantasy's face right now. Just an uncomfortable situation all around. Those Lurkers not taking any damage. Need some energy for a Radiate here. Meanwhile, Fantasy still maintaining a supply lead, but the gap has thinned. As Jadong is denying... Well, Fantasy's out of mining. He doesn't have any... Like, he can't mine from his third. He's almost all in right now. The science facility is here. Not enough Irradiates to take out the, the Lurkers underneath. So, neither player are going to have much mining going on at all. Fantasy struggling to get any more damage done. He's been throwing units at Jadong. But Jadong still is controlling the situation. Oh, Dark Swarm at the last second. It'll flag all over everything. Oh, still one Defiler. Oh, but nothing left to kill it. It's just medics healing each other. I don't know. Well... Overlord, Marine, Fantasy has lost control of this situation. He had the momentum, he had the units, but he hasn't made that switch into mech. That your your average, at least in my very limited and amateur experience, the switch into vultures and siege tanks, and maybe even battle cruisers in the ultra late game. But it's not here. As of right now, Jadon has help. He's got lurkers. He's got plenty of scourge. Another plague. <sighs> oh. Those plagues are really eating into the army. The defilers. Making things. Oh! The scourge flying over the irradiates are enough to limit the damage they can potentially do. But Jadong's holding on. It's reflected. Remember, Fantasy had almost a 50 supply lead. That has evaporated. The Red Death has taken its toll, but Jadong has not continually denied. Oh, he's sending out a few Zerglings. But Fantasy is mining from two more bases now. His main and his natural are gone. The gas gases will last a little longer. Army being chased down. But that's enough science vessels to really make life difficult for Jadon. Handful of Zerglings. Firebat gets surrounded and slaughtered. We'll see how many SCVs end up going down. I believe those are adrenalines. But only a handful of them. Still not that intimidating. What are the Marine up? He's got three, three Marines here. Still more tanks. Yeah, we haven't seen too many siege tanks since the uh, earlier pushes. The Zerglings have plus two, plus two attack, or uh, attack and carapace upgrades. A Dark Swarm at the last second. No Nidus rebuilt. Without the Nidus. Oh no, the Irradiate is hitting both Lurkers! Oh, one survives as the other died, um, thus removing the source of Irradiate. Fantasy is drawn even in supply, but the Scourge almost take it out the second vessel. All it has is detection now, but the Lurkers are closing in, and another squad of Marines is going to be taken out. All those science vessels here. No Scourge. But, oh wait, I take it back. Two Scourge. And several. Rebuilding the Nidus Canal. Irradiate. Hey, there's actually no animation. Um, but you can tell when the science vessel lights up. Uh, you can tell it's cast on a burrowed unit. Specifically the lurkers there. Pops. Ooh, loses the science vessel, but... Pops a couple of the defilers. Ooh, a lot of zerglings in the corner, but Fantasy has pulled back completely. He's regrouping most of his forces. So hard to bring everything together at once for either side. The Scourge trying to chase. The engineering bay. Oh no, he's eating the Scourge with the flying NG Bay! It's traumatic things like this that it caused in StarCraft 2 both Queens and Engineering Base to no longer be able to fly. 
afraid of heights after all the danger. Oh my. A lot of Zerglings coming out of the Nidus to be consumed by the Defilers. One at full energy, another one working on it. Plague on the front line of bio here. Still no switch into mech, just science vessels all across the board. Zerglings counterattacking into the third base of fantasy. The base, it looks like it's burning, it's still at half HP, but not for long as the lurkers will burrow down. Trying to press into entrenched defilers. Fantasy! It's like trying to fit a square peg into a non-existent plague-filled hole. Don't, that's not, that, that, don't worry about it. Consuming the Zerglings brought along just as a battery pack for the defiler. A drop. Marines and fire bats here. Zerglings in position to deal with it. Any medics to heal? One or two. But those are fully upgraded. Well, about to be fully upgraded Zerglings. But the Marines are just gutting them down. The fire bats are helping out. And Jadong still struggling to deal with these drops. He doesn't have any lurkers. No defilers over here. And without him, the Marines and medics, well, getting a little strung out. Trying to jam themselves behind the minerals. But eventually, enough. What happened to the Nidus? Oh, the Nidus, I think, was targeted down, but at the cost of the Marines that were helping out with it. Meanwhile, though, trying to move forward. Was there enough to radiate? There's still some uh, consuming blurred legs underneath. Doesn't give too much energy for Lang. Fantasy, the supplies. St I don't know if Jadong's ever been over 100 in this entire game. His fantasy is just laid on the pressure. Lurkers are denying the base to the north. Fantasy has been intermittently mining throughout this game. The science vessels erasing the drones in the bottom left. Oh no, and now Jadong. If he doesn't have any J Jadong has no minerals. Look, the minerals aren't even going up. It, he is enough for one more drone. He's taking the base right outside here, which I don't think Fantasy has actually noticed as it's so really taking Ultralisks on the field. Does he have Titan his play? He's got six armor here, but a Radiate doesn't care how much armor you have. It'll melt right through it. Well, it appears with science vessels at this stage. Neither player really has a ton of income. You can see how slowly those minerals are ticking up. Jadong actually has two, three hatcheries, but I don't think he really has the drones to mine from them. His drone count has suffered greatly. A couple drones here. Yes, we're counting in like single digits. He has like 20 drones throughout the map, if that. Like, at least he's mining from this location. It will allow... No, I would rather not. I don't... Jimmy, please. Engineering Bay, we'll see no drones mining. There's still one defiler. So hard. There's no select all army hockey. Not only is there no select all army hockey, every single worker must be individually sent to mine. As uh, we did things back, uh, the uh, back in my day. Well, not even my day, but fuck this game, man. So the amount of, of tax on your attention, outside of even fighting. Outside of even producing units, just making sure your workers are doing anything, let alone existing, is hard enough. And now science vessels, he's losing a lot of high energy science vessels. JD has been suffering greatly, but he's replenished his drone cap. And now he's got almost the entire southern half of the map. Meanwhile, Fantasy is... Both of them took such large hits, they have to sit back and rebuild as, as neither of them really had nearly the economy to continue. Wow, that's a lot of range in those Those end up dealing with it. More science vessels going down. Three defaders in production. A few Ultras. Ultras don't have their cleave like in StarCraft 2. But there isn't nearly... Well, there's no snipes here either. So, very tanky, reliable units. 
against marines and I think against fire bats. How much damage do fire bats actually do? Eh, yeah, pretty decent. Oh, he, he irradiated the ultras and all the zerglings in the entire metro area are just gonna melt. Making it even harder to get any value out of them. But both players have managed to rebuild. Fantasy, a double drop. Actually wandered by an overlord there. Not completely full of marines, fire bats, and medics, but close enough, and, and JD's gonna have to respect it. Oh, the defilers at the last second, but the fire bats are just flaming through. But between the plague and the zerglings to follow it up, the bio army is gonna get clawed to pieces. To shreds, even, I, I would say. Another dark swarm. Meanwhile, is, are there any lurkers? There's defilers, yes, but is there anything to follow it up? Meanwhile, marines, medics, fire, he's just continuing down. Jadong has the supply, but where is it? The defilers just hanging out. Flag on a couple marines. Ultranus pops out. Starts chewing through. Reinforcements, but he's in the dark swarm. Is there enough energy for radiate? Looks like maybe one, but here come the... the Defilers behind! Oh my god, those ultras are so fast! Oh wow! That's kinda terrifying! Oh my god! Gee. All right, well... Meanwhile, I don't even know how to get rid of the, uh, the camera fi- okay. What? The drop ships no longer have units in them! They actually managed to drop them out and take out a hatchery down here. Meanwhile, the Ultra is irradiated, but going through the Dark Swarm, the irradiate takes quite a while. I'm not sure if it stacks between multiple. I think it does. Each one doing an individual set of damage. Marines under plague, but before they're taken out by any reinforcing Zerglings, he might be able to kill all the drones at this base. Jadong needs this economy. Fantasy down to 66 supply, though. Jadong consolidating his forces. The Ultras! Try to catch some of the SCVs. The science vessels, all that remained. And again, fantasy has been cleared. He's not, well, he's actually mining for blood base. But Jadong now has three, if you count what remains at the bottom left. Jadong has played an incredibly scrappy game. And it, I, I think for the first time, may go above 100 supply. Uh, he may have he may have edged above it before, but it didn't last long. Ultras chewing through the SCVs, and this is well, fantasy limited yet again to one base. He's still making marines. He's still making well. He's been relying on marine medic fire back. No switch in the mech. Just science vessels to support, especially against the Defilers and the Lurkers. But the Ultras just seem far too strong. He sees where they are, but will he be able to deal with them? Two science vessels at a time. Most of this game, Fantasy still has... I believe the refineries don't ever run out. They just get depleted, which means they mine at a, an incredibly slow rate. Science vessels trying to sneak their way by to melt the drones. Factory. Oh, just burning his way through. Oh, Scourge, just on location. Some of the benefits of not having a select army hockey. Always seems to have the right units. Ultras. Oh, wow. Two or three, con three or four control groups of units up here. Fantasy looking real thin on the actual unit count. No Scourge with the army. Irradiates a couple Ultras. Doesn't actually catch the Defiler in the back. The Scourge! I take it back, there's two. Oh, takes out one. Meanwhile, a drop actually took out a hatchery, but a dark swarm to defend the base. And between all these dark swarms and the lack of siege tanks and spider mines, just nothing for fantasy. The main base is breached, trying to come up the ramp. A dark swarm on the top of it. 
I don't know how you recover from this. Still, a dropship looking for opportunities. So far, Scourge have been most of the uh, anti medevac A single siege tank in the main. Fantasy is still mining. But Jadong, okay. He's up about, he's gonna fly to the corner. As J-Dog has a 50 supply lead. The Marines eventually, how long? Well, those Ultras were already well softened up. Still some Scourge waiting outside the base. Gotta be careful. Oh. I'm not sure who needs to be careful, both of them, but... Those Ultras being taken out means that Fantasy can breathe a little bit easier, which is barely at all, as opposed to none. Oh, the worker count was on the UI the whole time. I... <laughs> Don't jump! 46 drones now, which seems more than enough. Somebody was yelling at me for that, but... Consumes Defiler at full energy, but irradiated, so not long for this world, but probably long enough. Clang and Dark Swarm. Cast before the Defiler melts out of existence. The Scourge. There's just not enough units here for fantasy. The Zergling surrounding the Ultras. Fantasy not able to put it off together. It looked like he had it. But he just wasn't able to capitalize. Jadong! If you don't throw anything stronger at him, well, you're very likely going to regret it. A factory across the map. Fantasy committed to the bio army. Reminds me a bit of a Beyond in StarCraft 2 here. Almost made it work with the marine medic drops. But at the end of the day, the defilers are just too much. Ultras chopping up whatever they can get to. Trying to target the Marines. The meta giddy of the way here, it looks like. Zerglings into the only mighty... Oh, there's a siege tank on the high ground, but Fantasy has left the game. No GG. I don't know if GG show up in replays. I'm just going to go with no GG. No resp... But thus concludes this arduous battle. Ooh. I... Now... I believe what, what Fantasy missed out on was the big mech switch. That's what I've seen in, in some of the uh, admittedly few Brood War games. But I was looking forward to seeing some siege tanks and some spider mines. We didn't get any spider mines, only a handful of siege tanks. But if you enjoyed, if you made it to the end, well, it'd be awesome. If you could like and subscribe. Maybe you want to see uh, another match or two in the future. Something to mix it in. It was a good refresher. And I think it was a pretty epic back and forth game. Drops almost as strong here, especially because it's so hard to uh, uh, split your valuable forces. But at the same time, Jadong just has too much experience, it seems, in, in defending. Eventually powers through. Well, that was quite a thing. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I, I made your day a little bit better. Um, and yeah, Brood War. The greatest strategy game of all time? Make sure to get your arguments in, in the comments. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Have fun. I'll see you next time. Stay chill.